Hey, my name is Pete, and today we are looking at the best accessories for your Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, from cases to chargers to battery packs, and I'll be sure to link everything in this video down below. But if you have an accessory that I haven't covered and want me to review, then do head down to the comments and let me know. Maybe I'll check them out for the next video. So first up, let's talk cases because I don't know about you, but I'm really not a fan of the official Google cases. They just kind of seem like a condom for your phone. But there are two cases that I really do dig and for me have stood the test of time on a lot of my previous phones. Now, the first one is from Spigen. They have a huge range, but my go-tos are their liquid air, which gives you some very good protection, but also actually the thin fit case. And I think I'm going to be sticking with this one, which I'm currently waiting for Amazon to deliver it, because I'm not normally the type of person who drops my phone. It's more just like the day-to-day -day scratches from just being in my pockets that I want to protect from. Now, both of these cases are really, really affordable compared to the official ones. And unless you want some serious drop protection, they will do a great job. Now, the other option is the Moose Mouse case and I have used these cases on all of my phones for the last few years and they are really indestructible. Now they're not available yet for the Pixel 6 but definitely check those out if you can as those do look tougher and in my opinion are a lot nicer than the OEM Google ones. The last option for those of you who are uh, switching from an iPhone 12 is the Moment cases because these Moment cases actually have their own version of MagSafe basically like magnets put in the same place which allow you to use all of the Apple MagSafe accessories like the wallet but even the official Apple MagSafe charger, which is kind of just a lawsuit waiting to happen. But I just thought that might be useful to those ex-Apple users like me. Next up, we have charging. And like most phones now, the Pixel 6 only comes with the cable, not an actual like charging brick at all. Now, of course, you can have the official 30 watt charger from Google for £25, but you can't actually buy it yet. But I would definitely say that you should just go and get the Anker Nano 2 wall charger. It is absolutely tiny and it delivers the same 30 watt of power as the Google's charger. And you can buy it today. Now for wireless charging, there is a new Pixel 6 fast kind of charging stand. But again, right now, not available either, but it will charge faster than any other third party chargers. So I would personally wait for the official charger if you can, if you want a wireless charger. Otherwise, check out the other options from the likes of Samsung or Spigen with their 15 watt chargers. But just remember, they will not charge as fast as the official Google one when that comes out. Portable chargers. Anker have their PowerCore 3 Elite, which has a 25,600 milliamp battery and charges at speeds of up to 87 watts. Now, this should have enough juice to charge your Pixel 6 Pro about five times from complete total empty to full. And then lastly, if you're looking to power your phone in your car, then once again, Anker comes in with their 36 watt power drive 3 Duo, and this will provide up to 36 watts of power whilst driving. Now this isn't sponsored by Anker, and Anker, if you are watching, then would love to work with you, but they do genuinely have some great products, particularly around power. Now audio now, and most people buying the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro will have received either a set of Pixel Buds for free, or here in the UK, I think we get a really good deal as the Bose 700 headphones phones. They're worth around like £350, which is what? $400, $450 versus the cheaper Pixel Buds. But if you aren't already tied to the headphones that came with your phone, then I highly recommend checking out the Sony XM4s. They are by far the best in noise cancellation, better than the Apple AirPods that I've used before. They sound really full. You can tweak the sound how you like it. And the Sony app, which actually lets you control how much comes through and how they automatically pause when speaking and just a whole host of other features just work really well. Now, I also have the over-the-ear XM4 versions and they're more comfortable for like longer journeys. So perhaps if the in-ear XM4s don't stay, your ears for any reason then give these ones a try as well and then one more now is the watch if you've just got your pixel 6 and are now wondering what to put on your wrist to replace the apple watch maybe if you just switched then the best buy right now is the galaxy watch 4 which i'm seriously seriously impressed by either the classic which is a bit bulky that has that rotating bezel or the standard galaxy watch 4 which is a bit smaller a bit lighter but they are definitely on par now with the apple watch in my opinion even the series 7 now i did have to send my own galaxy watch 4 back but i'm currently waiting for the google pixel watch to be released hopefully the next few months i'm going to rebuy the galaxy watch 4 plus the pixel watch and then compare them with the apple watch series 7 so if you want to see that one then make sure to subscribe to the channel links are in the description for everything i've just mentioned and there are, of course, way more accessories that I should perhaps be considering. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to check out something else. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Next up, go and watch these videos, which I think you'll like. Otherwise, this one, which YouTube thinks you'll like. Cheers.